The Indianapolis 500 is the biggest sporting event in the world. The sounds, the crowd, the speed, the tradition. Something about it reached out to me the first time I walked through the gates of the Indianapolis Motor Speed with my dad in 1951. And of course, it never let go. Since 1911, the Indianapolis 500 has tested the best drivers, teams, and racing machines in the world. It's a race where legends are born and success is achieved through sheer will, courage, and determination. This year, we will celebrate the 50th anniversary of King Penske's first Indianapolis 500 victory with Mark Donahue in 1972. It's a day that I'll never forget, and it was a win that opened up the world of opportunities for our organization. When our team first came to Indianapolis in 1969, everyone called us the college boys because we were the young guys with the crew cut hair and the press shirts. We paid attention to details. And we believed that sooner or later, that focus and preparation would make a difference. We learned some valuable lessons over the first few years racing at Indianapolis. And when we arrived in 1972, we were more determined than ever to win on the biggest stage in racing. Coming to Indianapolis certainly was a great challenge for our team in 1969. We realized it was gonna take a complete team effort and the job probably wouldn't be done for at least three years. Our team's attention to detail served us well in 1972 as it became a race of attrition. As other competitors fell out of the race, Mark continued to march on. He led just 13 laps but the last one is the one that changed everything for our team. That victory 50 years ago helped us establish our brand, key partnerships, and a legacy of success that continues to this day. I can say without any doubt that this is the happiest moment of my life. It was a great drive. Mark ran laps at 185 at the end, and that's what counted. He raced at the end. It was a great job. Thanks to the hard work by our team members and some of the best drivers in the world, Team Penske has won the Indianapolis 500 17 more times since then. A lot has changed over the years, but the one thing remains the same. The Indianapolis 500 is still the greatest spectacle in racing. And there's the checkered flag for Mark Donahue. I really owe a lot to Roger Penske. Frank Mears, the winner of the 63rd. I don't know what to think, really. It's just, I've got to wait and give it time to soak in, I think. I have the nicest car, the best car, and the best team, and uh, damn sure the best car owner in the business. Frank Mears has won his second Indianapolis 500 mile race. Danny Sullivan spins. Absolutely incredible. I figured when I got to the Penske operation, I'd gotten to the top team. Our second four time winner. Fantastic. Congratulations. What a wonderful win. The ball is great for Al. He did a great job. We hunted him. <laughs> That's great. He's had a whale of a day. He started on the pole. He'll finish number one one more time. Penske just continues to set records. Now Mears goes to the outside, and Rick may have a Rick Mears takes the lead. I just got to give all the credit to the Penske team. The team made an incredible job, and we had a great recovery, the home run for me, and we did it. Roger, special thanks. I tell you, you know, he, he loves this place as much as I do, and it shows. Elio Castro Mavis has won the Indianapolis 500. Two in a row. For Elio at the Speedway. We did it again. Yeah. We did it again. Man. What a job, huh? Team Penske goes 1 2. This time it's Shield of Baron winning the Indianapolis 500. Who's going to win at the strike? It's Hornish. Oh, Hornish wins. Hornish wins. Got to thank this Team Penske. They did a heck of a job. Open the door to the three time winners club. There's a brand new member, and his name is Elio Castro Neves. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. It was a great day for. Steve Penske, and I tell you, I'm just so thrilled for everybody that works for us. Checkered flag, power, and Penske win it. I just can't believe it. I got to thank Roger Penske. When you have a car like this, a team like this, you just uh, work your way, and here we are, Victor Lane, man, we did it! <laughs>